again. And, uh, Hello again. Well done again. Thanks. Uh, earlier this week, you told us you probably wouldn't sleep very well ahead of the Poland game. Um, did you sleep well last night and did you dream of Brazil? <laughs> no, I didn't. And uh, I suppose one should sleep better after a game and after achieving our goal, but I don't think I did sleep particularly well last night. I feel tired today anyway. Probably look tired, so uh, there's plenty of time to sleep now. I'm not worried about sleep. I've never been worried about losing sleep. We can't really even start to do any sort of detailed planning before December the 6th until we find out who we're playing because that will affect a lot of our decisions, find out where we're going to be based. And uh, I'm fortunate that um, you know with the FA, they've got such a lot of experience at tournaments and travel, our logistics people, Michelle Fowler, Adrian Berrington there. They know so much that really all I have to do, I think, is sit back and ask a few pertinent questions. They'll give me the answers. Well, I've been lucky recently. I mean, they are playing, not only playing regularly, they're being quite important people. I mean, Daniel Sturridge was getting excellent reviews for Liverpool and has brought that with him and done it for us with England. Danny Welbeck's been playing on a regular basis for United. Townsend's been playing for Spurs. Wilshere's been playing for the Arsenal. Walker's been playing for Spurs, just to name five off the top of my head. Long may that continue, and I think it will, because I think the, the, their club sides know that they've got very good players on their books in these players, and it's their shares, if you like, haven't exactly been diminished by the fact that they've done well in these qualifying games and are now playing regularly for England. Is Leighton Baines now England's best left-back? Well, that would be harsh on Ashley Cole, who's still a fan who is a fantastic player. He was injured for these games. It would have been a tough decision for me to make had he been there because I've got such respect and admiration for both players. But I think for a long time everyone's understood that Leighton is of the very, very highest level and it's going to be a, a battle, I, I guess, between those two to see which one can, can uh, get his hand on the shirt. And who knows, maybe I'll be lucky enough to find a a place where I can rotate them or use them like I've done so far. So I, I'm just lucky and happy to have two such good players and I'm certainly not prepared to say that this one is the undoubted number one. Steven Gerrard told us last night that if England are to make an impact at the World Cup, it's vital that Wayne Rooney gets there fit and in form. Would you like? Yes, I'd agree with that. I think both Wayne and, and Stephen have been immense during this campaign, especially during the latter part of it, with Wayne having found such good form at Manchester United and then been able to bring it to the England get-togethers and to the England team when we've played. There's no doubt that uh, young players, they're very exciting, they're our future. I think they're going to be uh, cogs, if you like, in, in, in the wheel, important cogs in the wheel when we, when we move on after this World Cup. But success in the actual tournament itself, this close to the tournament, we're going to need the, the Gerrards, we're going to need the the Lampards, the Rooneys, the Coles, all of these guys, because the young players feed off them. I mean, both games were tense because there was only only one result possible. There was no there was no safety net. We had to win. If we don't win, we don't qualify, basically. So that brings a lot of tension with it. So I suppose I'm happy that those tense days are over. I'm certainly very, very excited about the World Cup and going to Brazil with an England team, I think, the whole nation's excited by it. And I, I believe we'll, we'll give a very good account of ourselves there. I, I'd like to think that people will come away from the World Cup enjoying what they've seen us do as a team. And certainly everything in our power will be to produce that um, performance, if you like, which will have people saying it was a great World Cup and England did their bit. He's got a fantastic quality, Stephen, that I talk a lot and don't often say things that are particularly memorable, and he speaks very little, and every time he opens his mouth, he says something which I, oft I think, I wish I'd have said that. That's, that's one great quality. I think his other great quality is that um, he leads by example. You know, he really, he really does lead by example. When, when I called him up when I got the job, and I said, listen, you know, I'd like you to be the captain, I remember then he said, you know, well, that's, that's terrific. You know, I'd like to be captain and I'll take it very seriously and I'll, I'll do my best to help you wherever I can. That's exactly what he's delivered for me over these last 18 months. And I think everyone looks up to Stephen because he's such a good player and he doesn't have to scream or shout. All he has to do is to do what he does on the football field 
and he's very, very supportive of all the players. He he encourages them, he urges them on, and he's more vocal with them maybe than people will see because he's not a screamer and shouter, but he does talk a lot to the players, both on and off the field. I think that he, perhaps more than anyone, should be really proud of this uh, World Cup uh, this World Cup campaign, qualifying campaign we've had. And I think that he's going to be desperate to make certain that when he leaves Brazil, he's going to leave behind not only the memories of a good qualifying campaign, but the memories of a good World Cup campaign. So I can't speak highly enough of him.